In case you haven't tuned in in the last few weeks, we're celebrating Farm Week's 35th anniversary. Now, Farm Week first appeared on the air October 3rd, 1977. One of the ways that we'll be celebrating this year will be airing some of our feature stories from years past. Suppose you started an antique business and put a restaurant inside of it to encourage people to visit. Eventually, you got rid of the antiques, though, because it was the food that the people raved about the most. That's part of the story behind today's feature, last feature segment. The Roten family of Indianola, Mississippi, still have the restaurant, and they're taking their food to the world one bite at a time. This story first aired on Farm Week six years ago. I love to cook. It is a passion with me. And we never go anywhere that we don't get some little tweaky idea of, oh, why don't we do that with catfish in the restaurant? Or why don't we take that idea and add some this to it and make a sauce that we can sell through Taste of Gourmet. You're around Evelyn Roten for say two or three seconds at the most before you find out about her two passions, family and food. The Roten family is well known for their Indianola restaurant called The Crown. There's also their famous smoked catfish pate. More than 1,000 people around the country are selling their food products through their Taste of Gourmet direct sales company. All of these enterprises work together to create an effect that is greater than the sum of the parts. We are so fortunate that the business we've been able to make a living doing is something we all absolutely adore. The food part of it is a joy to all of us. Um, working with the consultants is a joy for Jennifer. Um, Tony is just right there backing us up doing whatever needs to be done in, in the office and keeping things going. But we, we look forward to going to work in the morning. Starting in 1972, this building five miles north of Indianola, Mississippi, held the Roten's English antique import business called the Antique Mall. Four years later, they started the Crown Tea Room inside the building to attract people out to buy antiques. It was the time when the Mississippi farm-raised catfish industry was growing rapidly in the area. The rodents began to feature catfish dishes at the Crown, developing many recipes for this versatile fish. It was their smoked catfish pate, however, that put them in the national spotlight. A catfish farmer's daughter was getting married and they wanted everything to be catfish. So that's how we created our catfish pate. We used a friend's um, smoked salmon recipe from England, did a lot of tweaking to it. In 1990, the catfish pate won the Outstanding Hors d'Oeuvre Award at the International Fancy Food Show in New York. It was a validation of the Roten's talents and commitment to producing high quality food. By the time the Crown Restaurant moved into downtown Indianola in the late 1990s, it had a nationwide reputation for its catfish dishes and desserts. The antique business was dropped and the Rotans began selling the catfish pate and several pie mixes wholesale to stores. The wholesale food business is super competitive though, with the Rotans competing against much larger companies. We started going to wholesale shows, selling to stores. We've sold to Dean and DeLuca, Javalia Coffee, all kinds of wonderful stores. And then we realized that what we wanted to do was sell directly to the consumer and put a taste in their mouth of our pate or our Mississippi Delta fudge pie. Then they knew how good it was. The Rotans launched their Taste of Gourmet direct sales company in 1996. The sales were made through what are called consultants. For $75, a person can become a Taste of Gourmet consultant. It includes training materials and products for the consultant to hold a tasting where the customers try and hopefully buy Taste of Gourmet items. There are about 1,000 Taste of Gourmet consultants selling the 58 items presently available. They range from the popular sweet potato muffin mix to the cinnamon flavored sinful fruit dip mix. We were doing just the smoked catfish pate and a line of about eight pie mixes. After we created Taste of Gourmet, we started going into salad dressings and dip mixes and sauces that I had always wanted to do. All of Taste of Gourmet's products are made at the Indianola plant. It allows them to exercise quality control. It also means when the inventory runs low, the rodents and their customers don't have to wait for another company to gear up its production line. Because we do uh, produce 
the products right here. If we run out of our gumbo, then our production line switches directly over to gumbo. I don't have to wait for products to come in. I never have to back order my customers because within a day, I can have as many of whatever I need made. Taste of Gourmet and The Crown remain Roten family businesses. There are 18 employees. Daughter Jennifer Roten Schomburg is the CEO. Father Tony Roten runs the figures and lends support wherever it's needed. Even granddaughter Sage is involved. Evelyn comes up with the recipes. I do all of the creative work itself. My daughter Jennifer has some great ideas and she'll say, well, why don't we do this? And then she turns it over to me and goes back to her work and I end up in the kitchen trying to create that thing then. The Roten's Crown Restaurant plays a critical role in product development. The Crown's patrons are not surprised when Evelyn Roten asks their opinions of a new recipe. If it can pass the Crown Restaurant test, it's a long way towards becoming a taste of gourmet product. The Crown is one of our testing grounds. We are forever taking something up there and saying, okay, now be real critical. Tell me, what does it have enough dill? Does it have too much mayonnaise? And we do that over and over. The people who work here in the plant are really good to tell me the truth, too. And up in the restaurant, they will definitely tell me the truth. The restaurant also has a gift shop featuring taste of gourmet products, as well as unique books and art created by Mississippians. We do love the fact that they are able to shop for all kinds of unique things, and a lot of these are Mississippi. We've got Mississippi artists, we've got Ethel Wright Mohammed's things here, we've got potters from Mississippi. Um, we're very fortunate that we have such a talented group of very local Delta artists who are willing to share their things and sell them through us. Evelyn Roten says Mississippi State University has been a great supporter and source of help in product development. MSU has helped identify ingredient suppliers and has helped keep the rodents in compliance with food regulations. Anna Hood has worked with the rodents since 1992. Through my work with the Extension Service, I have worked with Evelyn in helping to provide her with suppliers for her raw ingredients going into her products, um, help with her labeling uh, issues, as well as the nutritional uh, labeling of her products. While many of Taste of Gourmet's products have southern origins, Evelyn Roten says she's developing recipes which are familiar to customers in other parts of the United States. The Internet and Taste of Gourmet's website are an important part of its dealings with retail customers and its consultants. The web is an enormous draw for our consultants to come to us. Um, we've had people from Oregon, from Guam. We have some military wives in Guam who came to us simply because they were looking for something, uh, a, a product they could sell, saw us on the web, and we're able to ship to Guam through the, um, through the post office. Taste of Gourmet products are available only through its sales consultants and the website. All of the Taste of Gourmet products that we have created just for this will be sold only by our consultants, not through stores. Um, it's just important to us to back up our uh, consultants by not selling it through the stores. Evelyn Roten remains excited about Taste of Gourmet, and she has no plans to quit. Tony and I could retire, but I don't see us retiring from something you love this much. And besides, I'm an old lady of 92, and I have an idea. I can go, still go in the kitchen and come up with something. So I intend for this to be a long-range business for us. We've got a lot of growing to do, and we're looking forward to it. And you can watch this story again on Taste of Gourmet and the Crown Restaurant on our Farm Week website, our Facebook page, or YouTube. We'll also have links to the websites for the Taste of Gourmet and the Crown Restaurant. Our website address is farmweek.msucares.com. Of course, that was back before high definition, of course, Layton. Uh, talked with Evelyn, and they're all doing fine. Uh, daughter Jennifer is now the manager of the Crown Restaurant, but uh, Taste of Gourmet is still going, and Evelyn is still coming up with uh, recipes. I bet she is. <laughs>